I'd like to take a moment now to discuss a problem many people suffer from. That problem is... Wire shelving. Wire shelving is a cancer that plagues closets all over the world. And I myself suffer from it too. Why do I hate wire shelving so much? Well, it's cheap in every sense of the word. And when I bought this house, it had wire shelving in almost every closet, and it failed every single time. Except one, my closet. But based on this, it's only a matter of time. And since my closet's headed for an inevitable collapse, it's time to fix it. I had a friend once who actually installed closet solutions for a living and she once told me she wouldn't install wire shelving even if someone specifically asked her to. So you see, I'm not alone. I feel like I've tried everything. I doubled up on the supports, screwed everything in the studs, and still I had collapses. Often catastrophic. So now it's time for an upgrade. Apparently the Christmas stuff is here already. We have our material, now let's gather our tools. A screwdriver, it drives screws. An impact driver, it drives impacts. A level, it levels. A laser level, it levels lasers. A stud finder, it finds studs. Bob the skeleton, Bob has no arms or legs. Bob is useless, get out of here Bob. A measuring tape, a circular saw, a hacksaw, a carpenter's pencil, the rattier the better, and a Dr. Pepper. You are now ready to begin. Step 1. Clean the work area. Step 2. Demo existing shelves. See? Doesn't take much. Side note, this is not how you run wire, even coax cable. Step 3. Determine shelf heights and mark your studs. How high you mount your new shelves is based entirely on your needs. In my case, I'm keeping the top and bottom shelves about the same height, but eliminating the middle one. Step 4. Mount the brackets. This task is easier with an impact driver, but any screwdriver can get the job done. 
be sure to plumb the brackets with a level before you put in the second screw. Before installing longer shelves, you can level them with a laser level, but since I was only installing two brackets, I decided a beam level was sufficient. Don't forget to plumb that second bracket. Be sure you level your brackets as you mount them. Don't trust your eyes. Use your tools. Because crooked shelves are an eyesore and a pain in the Step 5. Cut and mount the shelves and poles. First you want to roughly mark the length of the shelf. Then you put masking tape or painter's tape around it. And you mark the final cut. This step is optional, but the tape will reduce tear out from your saw. If you're a perfectionist like I am, a file will take care of any rough edges. Now it's time to cut the poles. Once again, you mark the cut and wrap some tape around it. This time the tape you use to make sure your cut is straight. It's very easy for the blade to wander when you cut a cylinder. Once again, a file will help with those rough edges. There's nothing quite as satisfying as hearing that pole snap into place. Unless it's the wrong way around. Now if your closet poles have end caps, now's the time to install them. Step six, show off just how strong your new shelves are by doing something really stupid. <sighs> Step seven, replace clothing. Besides the peace of mind and improved appearance, another nice bonus is that you can slide the clothing all the way from one end of the rod to the other, something that wasn't even an option on those cheap wire shelves. Step 8. Enjoy the benefits. Step 9. Repurpose wire shelves for more appropriate tasks, like filtering your cereal for contaminants, a new cool grill for the car, or an emergency colander in a pinch. Or you can just put it where it truly belongs. Well, I hope we all learned something today. If you or someone you know suffers from wire shelving, contact your family carpenter to discuss your options. Or just do it yourself like I did. Again, 
So I hope to see you again next time on another adventure. Somewhere else. Somewhere fun. Not just me doing my chores. Seriously. Who watches this junk? Hey, <laughs> see you later. I think, I think when you do house projects, it's better that you do it during the day when I'm not here. Why? Because I make a big mess. Because you make a big mess and it gives me anxiety. <laughs> Places, people. Door sound. Like and subscribe.